So you are looking to the end result of my crazy idea about running shell commands with Node.js which is exposed as a web service and we can actually access the exposed path and simply by going to our browser with the given address we'll be able to put in some commands and it'll be sent to the Node.js application which is listening on a defined port and the command will be executed and the end result of that execution whether it is std out or std error while executing the command and it'll be returned back to the UI from which we make the request and with this simple process we'll be able to actually execute shell commands remotely from wherever we can access the internet so i know this is crazy and this is not at all safe you must of course take into consideration the authentication and authorization behind this this is just for playground purposes just testing out and it is nothing that i recommend using in real environments if you do not put any authentication system behind this. So if you haven't watched my previous video where I created the core of this application, I just recommend you go watch it and have a total overview of what we're doing in this video. I'll put the link down below and stick with me to find out more about this. Hello and what's up guys, Medium Guy here. In this video, we're going to see how I developed my crazy idea into a web server in Node.js and by simply exposing a route and putting a input element, I just send whatever command that I want to run in the shell to the Node.js server and I can get the result as a text and show it in my UI where I made the request. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as you can see over here, I have created an API directory inside my repository where I have all my files and configurations and whatever stuff that I create in my videos, which of course I'll put the link down below so you can access the GitHub repository very easily. No worries about the code, just let's go ahead and dive deeper in whatever I have been doing. So I've created an API exec.js file, I've got a package.json file and in here I have the express framework installed and by which I'll be able to actually expose some routes and I'll be actually able to access the web UI that I created in the get route. So by using the utils.promisify function, I've made the child process.exec function a promise in the function that handles the actual shell executions. So in here, I'll be able to wait for the result of the exec function, which will actually go ahead and execute the command that I pass from the query parameters. So actually, this is a very simple function which just executes the command and returns any std out or std error that the command can have and if there is ever any exceptions it'll just go ahead and return the exception text as the result so moving up in here i have a get route which will respond to the slash requests and actually inside this i'm getting the command from the request.query which will be the actual command that is going to be run in the shell and simply i've just checked the value of the command and if there is no values if there is no commands that has been passed to the request the route will simply return 400 as the status code and a simple message but if there is a command that is passed to the request the run shell function will be called and the command will be passed as a parameter and after the promise is met the route function will return a simple html which includes a form with an input that we just saw in the ui by which we can actually write our commands and send them to the server and there is 
just this simple pre tag which includes the result that is returned from the run shell function so that was all that it took me to make this into a web service and if I just switch to the terminal in here I'll say npm start this is going to actually spin up my server listening on port 3000 and if I go to the browser I have a fully functioning remote shell execution web service so I'll just remove the previous command I'll say ls dash la I'll hit enter and the request will be sent to the server and the response will come so I have a api-exec.js file node modules package.json and package .json. so if I say pwd this is exactly the same location that my script file exists so as you can see I can pass any shell command and see the result as a text over here so like for example if I say docker ps-a as a result I see that there are no containers running and actually from here I can create containers so like for example if I say docker images I'll see the images that are available in the machine that this web service is running so like for example I'm going to grab this image and in here I'll say docker run dash dash name I'll pass a name as test and I'll pass the image name that I just copied if I hit enter I'm expecting to create a container so as a result you can see that I get the hash that is created for the container and if I say docker ps again actually docker ps dash a I see that a container has been created with the exact same image that I passed 21 seconds ago and it has exited because it had no processes to do so that's all for this video as i said it is not at all safe to use this in real environments but actually providing and creating the necessary authentications this can come very handy in some use cases actually i'm going to develop this more and make a basic authentication to it i want to start testing this in real environments and i know that it might be some crazy idea but actually it is worth trying if you have any questions if you have any recommendations just go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below don't forget to watch my other videos i have in my channel i've got cool things cool technologies which i'm sure you'll like i hope you learned something new in this video don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos Bye.